in this video we'll see how to calculate risk on a stock so risk on a stock is also called as volatility volatility and measured using standard deviation standard deviation to measure the standard deviation it is the symbol we use is sigma standard deviation or sd this equals to square root of summation of x minus x bar whole square divided by n minus 1 so we use n minus 1 in a denominator when your data is from a sample when you're using a sample data we use n minus 1 and n as a denominator if your data is population now and to calculate the standard deviation in microsoft excel is in ms excel we have a built-in function that is s t d e v by using equation standard equals to s t d e v we can directly calculate standard deviation in microsoft excel and now how is that we are going to interpret s t d e v so suppose that is a standard deviation let us say we have a three stocks a b and c so A has got a standard deviation of 12%, B has got a standard deviation of a 14% and C has got a standard deviation of 9%. Among these three stocks, you can say that the stock with the lower standard deviation there is a 9. This girl has got a low standard deviation in the sense we have a low risk. And a stock with a high standard deviation we call this as a, we say that high risk and in the among the these three this is has got a moderate risk now how this varies is so suppose if you plot the data on a graph the stock with a low risk or low standard deviation will have oscillations low oscillations or swings the stocks with high risk will have high standard deviation so just by looking at the percentage of a standard deviation whether it is low or high we can assume the swings or oscillations because as the swings are more and it will become very difficult to predict so risk is also called as the uncertainty the uncertainty so when with stocks with a high uncertainty are highly unpredictable and stocks with low uncertainty are predictable so this is how we interpret the risk